Hey guys, it's Daisuke. Welcome back to more Final Fates Revelation. Today we are going to take on Chapter 13, Lost Peace. And I'm also going to move this table. Wow, Sir Kenzie got fucked. <sighs> what happened here? Sir Kenzie is in ruins. Yeah. It looks like a war zone. Why? But Sir Kenzie has never been a target before. <sighs> Something must have changed while we were on Hoshio. Hmm? Do you hear that? Someone's coming. <gasps> Are those. You, you all should run. Run away. Uh, it's not safe here. Get away while you can. Uh, Why? Wow, they have tails. Poor thing. These poor creatures, they've been horribly injured. Princess Sakura, could you tend to them? Yes! Oh, yes. I'll heal them right away. <laughs> hey, my wounds are fading away. I feel like a whole new person. Thanks, friend. Me too. This is wonderful. Thank you very much, kind lady. I'll be sure to repay you some. No. Please don't worry, it was nothing. I'm glad we're both feeling better. Hey. Why did the two of you get hurt anyway? This town is in ruins. Were you part of the battle? No. No, we were here to visit. We only arrived a little while ago. The things have been strange the whole time we've been here. For no reason at all, areas of the town have just been falling apart. What you see now wasn't a result of any fighting at What's all. That? But that's impossible. Uh. It's the truth. Buildings and plazas just started to crumble for no reason. We tried our best to reinforce things, but as soon as we started to help, we were attacked by some sort of invisible forces. <gasps> invisible forces? If that's the case, then that would mean... <coughs> Everyone, listen up. We have to get moving. Ryoma and Prince Xander are fighting on the outskirts of town. What was that? What? Ryoma and Xander are here? Let's go. We have to stop them. Hey! Hey, wait. Who are you allied with anyway? Nora? Oshido? Looking at you all, I'd say both, but that doesn't seem very likely. Well... No, that's right, we're from both kingdoms, but we aren't from either one. We aren't with them. Okay. We're people trying to end this war. What? And they're not with either side, then can we join you? Huh? Are you sure? Our mission isn't an easy one. In fact, it's incredibly dangerous. Yep. That's fine. I normally don't like traveling with packs. But if you're going to end this war, then I feel like we should help. Right, Caden? Sure thing! Yep, of course we should. We've got to repay these kind people somehow. Plus, this town is a great place. The people are really welcoming to us shapeshifters. I'd happily fight for its safety. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Oh, we haven't even introduced ourselves yet. My name is Daisuke. I'm Caden. I'm Caden. As you can see, I'm from the most beautiful race in the world, Kitsune. I can transform into a giant fox if I use the bee stone. I'm Keaton, your I'm superior. Keaton, leader of a race known as the Wolfskin. I transform into a wolf when I use a bee stone. <sighs> huh, a fox and a wolf? Sounds like you'll be a great help to us. Alright, everyone, follow me. We have to get Xander and Ryoma to stop fighting. <clears throat> I remember this Big Brother! Chapter. Xander, Ryoma, please, you have to stop fighting. What? Daisuke, I never thought I'd see you here. However, I will not stop fighting. Nestor was neutral territory until Nord decided to attack. I'm going to defeat these invaders if it's the last thing I do. How could- How dare you spit lies? Hoshio is the invader, not Nord. I won't forgive you for destroying this piece of town. Well... What's going on? They're both blaming each other for this carnage. Uh. Of course, kingdoms at war will always twist things to benefit themselves. But in this case, you can say both of them are right. Huh? What do you mean? Listen. Keaton, uh, Caden and Keaton told us all we need to know. So Kenzie started to fall apart all on its own. Usually no one would even begin to believe this sort of very good. But we have first hand experience with them before it depends on the structure. Huh? They tried to get the invisible soldiers from True. Yes. Neither side knows to look for their real enemy. It's only natural that they'd blame one another in this situation. However, I can see who is responsible. You can see them too, can't you, Daisuke? I... Hmm. <laughs> you know, you host and scum used such cowardly tactics. You die! Sounds, why no! don't you just admit that this was all you're doing? No! You're both wrong. It wasn't Norians or Hoshidans that destroyed this town. They're invisible enemies to blame. Can't you see that they're trying to trick you? <sighs> 
Invisible enemies, you can't be serious. We've now. got this. I'm dead serious. I know the truth. The real enemy is nearby. There, look near the plaza. You can make out a watery sort of shadow. They're the ones who destroyed this town. They're the real enemy. What? But I yeah. don't see a little partner's hand. We have to fight them off if we want to save this town. It's the only way for us to bring peace to the world. You may be my brothers, but I won't go easy on you if you try to stop them. Come, everyone. Sun Festival, Hand Axe, and then... Is there really nothing else? Chapter, this chapter is kind of weird, to say the least. All right, let's start the battle. Th there's debris everywhere. That might be bad, though. We should be able to use it to our advantage. What? That might not be bad. My bad. If we shift it around, we could block the enemy's advance. You can carry an obstacle by moving in a unit next to it and then selecting grab. If you want to set the obstacle down, stand next to the target space and select set. Boss. Cool. Also, I want to pair up with Keycha. Thank 
This isn't over, we'll fight to the very last man. Oh. You won't see Hoshi to waver. We'll fight until there's no one left. <sighs> this is bad. Even with the real enemy defeated, those two are still at each other's throats. Big brother. Real Mazander, please, you both have to listen to me. We've defeated the real enemy if you don't uh, you don't need to fight each other now. <gasps> Whoever retreats now admits defeat, nor will never lose to Hoshido. Yes. This war will continue until we take our last breath. No. You can't be serious. Xander, Ryoma. You are the ocean's Ooh, great ocean's great way. Way. Uh, oh, that song. What? Is this some kind of spell? It can't be. It can't be. Azura? Azura? Azura, what are you? Uh, what is this feeling? I feel so relaxed. It's like I've lost the will to fight. Azure, are you alright? You have my support. Fine, you don't need to worry. My songs have a special power. It's just, it's really exhausting to use one of them. Huh? You stopped them with that power. Truly. Yes, I wanted to avoid having to do that, but it just couldn't be helped. Real Mazander. It wasn't Nor or Hoshido who destroyed this town. It was done by the invisible forces that we just defeated. Now that they are gone, I will not allow any more senseless fight and violence. I will sing my song as many times as necessary to restore peace. Do you still insist on fighting? It's a common feeling I can barely lift my sword. 
I have to clear my head. Big brother! Xander, my brother, come to the suspension bridge at the bottomless canyon. Come on the day the skies change above Hojdo and Nor. <gasps> That really isn't a compelling reason to walk into what could be a hushed and trap. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I wish I could say more, really, but you'll understand when you get there. If you come there, I'll be able to tell you the truth. I want us to fight on the same side and save the world together. Mm. You abandoned the family that raised you guys, and I have no reason to trust you. Uh. Xander, wait, if you won't join me, at least answer a question for me. Uh. Shh, speak quickly, you're trying to my patience. Yeah. We met with Archduke Izana, he said, go meet the dragon. Do you have any idea what he might have meant by that? Ugh. Why would I tell a traitor like you anything of value? Big brother. Xander. <sighs> He'll be fine, Daisuke. I'm sure he'll come. Let's believe in him too, okay? Okay, Camilla, I hope you're right. <sighs> Daisuke, Azra and the others filled me in on what you've done so far. You're really trying to stop the senseless fighting and save both, Hosh both Hoshido and Nor? Yeah. Yes, though I cannot tell you any more about my motivations right now. Oh, hmm. You really are asking for my trust, aren't you? You can't explain why, but you want me to follow? I'm so sorry. I know it's a lot to ask, remember? <laughs> <laughs> what a funny boy. Oh! Uh, you're... The name's Scarlet. The name's Scarlet. I'm from an anti-Norian resistance group in Chevet. I joined up with Ryoma there and came along when he heard about Sir Kenzia. Ryoma's talked my ear off about what happened to you as a kid. You sound like an idealistic brat to me. You want to bring peace to the world? <gasps> There's nothing idealistic about ending this horrible war. <laughs> hey, well, you got good eyes, at least. They're like Ryoma's eyes that can't lie. Sure, why not? I'll follow you. Hey! What? Scarlet? You got something to say? You got something to say, Ryoma? He's your kid brother, right? Even I can see that it's reason enough to trust him. Thank you. Thank you, Scarlet. <sighs> Daisuke, I don't think I can quite... Listen up! Listen up, Daisuke. It's like this. Ryoma and I are going to head to Castle Shirasaki. I'll lecture him on the on what's what on the way there. <sighs> Scarlet, that's enough. <laughs> you hear what's going on, Ryoma? It seems you aren't your usual calm self when it comes to Scarlet. Oh, my... Jeesh. Just don't act so embarrassing in front of Hinoka, alright? She's waiting for everyone back home. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, Sakura. Take care of yourselves. Promise me you won't die. Ah. We'll be alright. Yes. I promise. Um, um Ryoma, before you go, I have something I'd like to ask you. When we spoke to Archduke Izana, he told us to go meet the dragon. Do you know what he might have meant? Anything would help, legends or otherwise. What? What? A dragon? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about dragons. Why don't you ask the Rainbow Sage in Notre Sages? Huh? The who? Oh? Well, that's a wonderful idea. The Rainbow Sage is said to be very wise. However, I have heard that he is very, very picky about who he meets with. Only incredibly powerful people are given an audience. <sighs> really? Yes. Yes, only four people are known to have visited him. The first was the former king of Hoshido, King Sumeragi. The second was King Garen when he was quite a bit younger. The third was a knight whose name isn't known to anyone. And lastly, Xander. <gasps> Xander met with the Rainbow Sage? So he may actually know something and is just refusing to tell us. Mm. I'm not sure, but he didn't outright deny knowing anything either. Yeah. Not earlier. No trust to guess. We need as much information as we can get. Let's go pay the Sage a visit. Well, that was a fun chapter. That's going to do it for this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. If you enjoyed, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you would like to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.